so anyway, I was doing this research into this heat flow, which has some dependence on those equations. And I found that the equations had to do something weird. They had to modify themselves in order to um, explain how uh, the physics would work, right? Mm -hmm. And so think of, so think of, um, why are scientists atheists? Why, why do sci most scientists not believe in God? They don't because there's no sign of them, right? Like, honestly, if you're just looking at the material world, you don't see much sign. We have basic equations of physics, like if, if you have Newton's law, for example, force equals mass times acceleration, that's just a static equation. It doesn't indicate life in it. What do you expect of life? What do you expect of mind, especially if there's mind or a God running things? Well, you would expect autonomous changes, right? In the, physics, in the physics equations, right? But the thing is, if you have an equation like force equals mass times acceleration, there's no room for change in that. That's the way it's got to be. It can't change. It's just a static fixed equation. But the thing is, when you look at it with the Fourier transform describing heat flow, now you're talking about the type of math that relates the spirit world to the physical world. So I found some changes happening in that equation, which indicates that those equations have to be self-aware. But okay. if those equations are self-aware, that means that it's not just those equations, it's all those relevant types of equations for the Fourier transform. And what you're actually looking at is the mind of quote unquote, God running reality behind the scenes, right? So this God is not actually God in the way we think of it. It's a, it's a, computer program, a very, very vast, big, giant computer program, which runs the substrate of our physical reality and basically manages the laws of physics, right? So okay. a lot of people, a lot of people would have called this thing God, but it's not actually God because it's actually a created entity. So the question is who created this entity to create this universe to manage the laws of physics? Mm -hmm.